Hey guys, Western Mine Detective here, coming at you with another mine exploring video. So I'm right inside of this incline shaft, and right here, you can see the ladders. And then we got a wooden head frame on the surface. Here's a closer look at the collar of the shaft. And then looking down, looks like this one goes down about 100 feet or so, and then it starts to level off. So this might be my last mine exploring video for quite a while because I'm going to be joining the military, joining the Navy. To be more specific, I'm going to be going into boot camp a couple days here. So thanks a lot for the support. You guys have been super great. I really appreciate all the comments and such. And it's uh, been quite a good run. I'm definitely going to be posting more mine exploring videos in the future, but definitely not as uh, often as I have been. I've been pretty consistent lately. But my buddies uh, Drake and Isabel are down there. Let's catch up to them. All right, so I'm just uh, regularly walking basically down this uh, incline shaft. There's kind of a handhold right here. Almost to the bottom. I can feel pretty cool air down here, at least compared to the surface. So hopefully the workings are pretty extensive. All right, down to the bottom. There's a really modern cooler right here. Got a little bit of timbering here. We even got a roller. Still rolls. All right, let's head in here. Yeah, so it looks like this one is at a slight downward slope. And it's not that tall either. It's probably five feet tall. Oh, and that is really cool. Looks like we got an ore car wheel right here. Yeah, that's what that is. Awesome that there's a already a pretty good artifact. And I can already see a ladder up here. Hey Drake, how's it looking? It's going to keep going every direction. That's good. Is Isabel up there? Yep. Okay. And then this continues on that way. Alright guys, so check out this really cool find. So that pickaxe is... Looks like it's welded to that uh, pipe. And like Drake said, he said uh, this is like a breaker bar or scaling bar. You can see how this one is uh, bent right there. That's interesting. All right, we're gonna head up here. They headed off to the right. There's some more stuff right in front of me too. Let's see what's off this way. All right guys, so it turns out this drift ends at an ore chute. And we found quite a few cool artifacts already. There's a shovel right there against the rib of the mine. And we got a Prince Albert tobacco tin. No mine explorer would be done without one of those. And then uh, there's another, that's a way more modern shovel. At least it looks like. All right, so we're headed back to the main level, uh, and then there's some sweating dynamite right here. Just a little bit of the paper wrapping left. Looks like two sticks. There's even another one right here. All right, guys, so we made it into this uh, stoked out section. There's a couple of stoles up there. Yeah, and we got like a ladder going across.
Oh, I got a pair of earmuffs. All right, for all you geology buffs out there, there's a vein right there. It's about two, three feet in sections. And we got more stoping there. We're gonna head back this way. Yeah, so we could definitely tell that this mine was really recently worked, probably in the 80s and 90s. There's a fan right there. All right, so there's where we started. And we're going up into this stoked out section now. There's a bat right up there. And then they found another ladder. That's pretty random right there. <laughs> they found a beach shovel and then there's a couple more bats right here. There's a glove right here. Yeah, it almost looks like a skip car would have been on that. It's got like the yeah. the hinges where it would have locked on. And we got remnants of dynamite boxes right there. Shoot. A couple more bats up there. Another ore shoot right there. Oh, isn't this one of those uh, drill columns? Yep. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. It's one of those things that helps them set up the timbers. Oh, yeah. Here's another. Here's a yeah, isn't that one like the clamp? Yeah. Yeah, that's heavy duty. Here's another piece off of what I think is a drill column. Ah. Got a bucket. Alright guys, so we stumbled upon this really cool tobacco pouch on this little piece. It says genuine without tar, bull on each package. And then there's a picture of uh, John Adams it looks like. It says one ounce and it says tax paid. So this is the tax stamp right there. That's a quite amazing piece. We'll leave that right there. All right, guys, so here's some timbering right here. And then here's a really big Union Carbide can. That's really cool. And then uh, my buddies are right up here. So we got this uh, ore chute. Oh, and look at that huge vein. It's like three feet right there. Anything interesting? Ooh, rail. And there's a little pamphlet for a uh, protective helmet right there. Oh yeah, it's super modern. Interesting. 
Yeah, so we picked up some rail right here. Yeah, splitting the rail, and there's even another ore chute right here. Oh yeah, and there's a really nice well-defined hanging wall, foot wall, and then the veins right there. All right guys, so here's a really cool artifact right here. It says wheat straw cigarette paper. And then there's a Hills Brothers coffee can right here. Looks like an older font. Quite a bit of stuff from the 1930s, maybe even earlier. Oh shit, I'm not fucking right. Bundy, 1956. Dead rat. Especially with the backpacks and stuff, that's not a... Not iconic. So we got some miners graffiti here. It says Badger right there. Looks like that says Merrill Bundy. That's not done with carbide, is it? Yeah, I don't think it is. Might have just been a piece of rock. 1956 and October 66. There's some more over here, right? Yeah. If... It says buckle. There's actually... There's, oh, God. There's graffiti right here. Bruce. Oh, there is? Yeah, look. Oh, wow. What is Sullivan, that? doesn't it? Yeah. What's the first thing you say? Jab, I think. Or else it's numbers. And then there's a... Blasting cap tin and a really cool motor oil can with really great colors. Triton motor oil. Really great stuff. Alright guys, here's that one section where we believe a skip car would have been. And uh, looks like there's a roller there and it keeps going. There's a little pocket off that way. All right, guys, so we're backtracking a little bit, and uh, we're going down this. There's some skip car rails, and uh, we even got some rungs. And then this drops down. There's actually what looks like possible engine or ore car base, and then there's a shovel right on top of it. So I'll get down there right now. So there are quite a few pretty interesting artifacts up in this section. This is a side off a barrel. You can see that. Oh, it's bent like that. Then there's a little pulley right here. Would have been interesting to see that in action. And then there's a piece off of a giant dynamite box. You can see the big G. Hey, Drake, what was this used for? That's interesting. Huh. Almost looks like a tea kettle. And then, uh... Looks like this is the base off of uh, possibly an ore car. Maybe something else, maybe a piece of equipment. And then uh, there's a really beat up old shovel. Really cool stuff. So we're still in this section of the mine and there's a huge enamelware pot right here. Or bucket. That's definitely from the 20s or 30s. Right next to it, there's a really old base off a beer bottle. That probably dates to the teens even. And we'll head back up. All right guys, so we made it back to the main incline shaft. It's a pretty, pretty level right here. But Drake said that it keeps going down. There's even some light fixtures here. There's a light bulb. A classifier. Oh, nice. And uh, looks like another roller. Is that a quarter of an ore car wheel? <laughs> wow. Yeah, quarter of an ore car wheel. Got an ore chute right here. Pretty nice looking one. And then uh, that just keeps going down. All 
Alright guys, so there's a look at the head frame and mine that we just got out of. And I'm hiding away in this bunkhouse so that the wind noise doesn't get to me. So here's a couple of really old pieces of bottles that I found outside. I'll put them back after I'm done demonstrating. So this looks like the base off of a medicine bottle. And it's purple because of the manganese oxide. When it reacts with the UV rays from the sun, it turns purple or amethyst. And then right here, this is a top off of a cork top bottle. The seam doesn't even go up to the top, so that dates to probably 1890s or even 1900. And then right now, I'll show you guys a really cool picture. Uh, there was an air compressor. Unfortunately, it was too windy outside to film it, but it had a couple of patent dates on it. It said Wakesha Motor Company, and I think it was February 1928. And there were even more. I think it was Stromberg Motor Company. And there were patent dates from 1921. So I'll show you guys that right now. Alright guys, we're at yet another mine. This one is also inclined at about a 45, 50 degree angle. And this is one of the tallest head frames I've ever seen. It's slightly collapsed and then right under it we got a massive ore bin. And then right over this way it looks like there's some more stuff. Uh, so here's the hoist cable off to the left. And there's looking down. Yeah, this mine just looks beautiful. And then we got the skip car rails here too. Drake and Isabella are already down there. Alright guys, so let's head deeper into this mine. We still got the cable running along off to the left. And then uh, there's even another roller right there. Let's turn that on. Yeah, this mine, it's pretty massive. It's one of the bigger mines I've seen. So here's all the ladder. Let me switch around. Okay. All right, so here's the first level. I was looking off that way. And then there's a, like a false floor right here. Some gobbling. All right guys, so I'm on the side of this uh, inclined shaft. The ladder's right next to me. And right here, we got a pretty gallery of uh, square set timbering. Goes about I'd say close to 60 feet from the start on the bottom right there. Lots of really nice timbering in this mine. And apparently the ladders end and it looks like it's really loose down there. But Drake said he's seen a skip car way down there. Looks like I can see the wheel, but this is definitely a rope mine. <laughs> 